He was well, making well, assertions. You're right, you're right. You're right concerning the dead street scroll. Okay, yeah, you're right. You said it was a fact. You know what? You are right. Okay. You are right. I made a mistake on that. Sorry. Alhamdulillah. Right. Finally. Why are you lying from your feet? The dead street scroll, is it? Yeah, but your lying is about the Old Testament, not the New Testament. No. They have some about the New Testament. Too. You know, now you're not only arrogant, but you're exposing yourself as someone they who lies. The New Testament. You can cross check. The Dead Why should I cross check? You're making the claim. Show me anyone who says that Dead Sea Scrolls is about the New Testament. It's about it. How can it be about it's it? It's about the old, but there are some about the new. Okay, which part of it is about the New Testament? Go on. I wouldn't know for now. So I stop speculating. Know. No, I won't speculate, but I know for fact. But I wouldn't. Oh, you know able. for a fact? I wouldn't be okay. able. Let's I open. To let's it. open Google. You got to Google, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so go on. Because you're the one making the claim, the onus is on you to provide the evidence. You know, this is what happens when you have little knowledge about things you say. The guy didn't even know it's you called the Dutch calls. Find the proof. I'm talking to him. All right. So, what Alhamdulillah, you that you know can you please find the evidence? You're the one made the claim, so the onus is on you to prove it. And if you can't prove it too, at least admit in front of the camera that you don't know. And then this is not about the New Testament. There is zero manuscripts of the New Testament. And the Old Testament, there is after thousand years after Moses. So both the Old and the New Testament, you don't have anything from the time of Moses in the case of the Torah and nothing in the case of Jesus from the time of Jesus. Yes? So both the New Testament and the Old Testament, they have manuscripts which date to several hundred years. In fact, Dr. Bart Ehrman, who is one of the, one of the main professors, one of the main scholars who actually specializes in this topic about textual criticism and texts of the New Testament, he says majority of the New Testament it dates to 9th century or later. 94% of it, 94, which is the majority of the New Testament, is after the 9th century, or, sorry, from the 9th century onwards. That means it can be even later than that. So Alhamdulillah, we don't have that problem with the Quran. We have manuscript from the 1st century, Al-Hijra. We have the Birmingham manuscript in, the, in Birmingham University. You can go and check it. It was, it was in the BBC as well. So you'll find out. So have you found the New Testament in the Dead Sea Scrolls? He is coming. He'll be here all night. If you, okay. you know, just say I don't know, you know, there's nothing wrong in saying that. If I don't know something, I'll just say I don't know. It saves a lot of hassle, a lot of trouble, and it actually makes you look sincere rather than being arrogant and insincere and making assertions. He was well, making well, you're assertions. Right, you're right, you're right. You're right concerning the dead street school. Okay, yeah, you're right. You said it was a fact. You know what? You are right, okay. you're right. I made a mistake on that. Sorry. Alhamdulillah. Right. Finally, so some humanity. When I make mistake, I will know, I will okay. submit. So now the question still stands. The question that still stands. Broke, you are right. But now. So the question still stands. Can I ask is my there a, No, no. First you need to answer this. Is there any first century manuscripts of the New Testament? Or the second century? I or the third century? I that now. Okay. Right? What if there is none? What, what, is the, what is the consequence if there is zero manuscripts of the first, uh, from the first century? What if is the consequence? Is, if there is zero yeah. manuscripts of the New Testament, that, yeah. then the consequence will be that the, the New Testament is questionable. The, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. No, no, it will be, but I will make my research. I will make my research and get back to you. Good. That is yeah, what I wanted to hear from you, I'll my friend. I will make my research and get back to you. That is exactly what I wanted to because hear from you. I might not know, presently, it might take me unaware. Okay. We are not, we are not uh, an archipelago of knowledge. Nobody knows it all. I never said I know it all. understand? So, Remember I said, to be humble, to say I don't know, okay. to do your research, so know then it, come back, and I then we can discuss. I will do my research on that, on the yeah. new one, and if okay. it is... So if then, you find out, if you verify that there is zero manuscripts of the New Testament, you will confirm in front of the camera, whenever you come and talk to me, like, that your Bible is questionable. Okay. I will come So everything you quote from yeah. the Bible is irrelevant then. So yeah. now... Now, so in the New Testament, tell me about the Sahabas. Alhamdulillah, I will tell you no problem. Why is it that you trust the Quran so much that was written? Okay, by the so first and foremost, we have actually first century Al Hijra manuscripts. There's a manuscript of the Quran in Birmingham University. So it is in this country. If you want to verify, go and verify. But I can show you a BBC article about it. If you don't trust me, yes, Google it. Look for Birmingham manuscript of the Quran. Now, wait a minute. So I've given you. A manuscript from the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes? Is that good enough for you? So, no, no, no. What are you looking for then? If Muhammad yeah. did not write. Yeah, of course he did not write. Muhammad did not write. Yeah. Then the Sahabas and the companions that wrote. Yeah. Are they human beings like me and you? Yes, yeah. So was Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wrote it, he's still listen, a human being. Listen, are they perfect or imperfect beings? Okay, that's a good question actually. 
because I know where he's going exactly. Are they perfect? Wait, wait, perfect? wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, my friend. So the Birmingham manuscript that you find in the in the Birmingham University, yes. yes what they did was they, they they looked at that, and they looked at all the other Qurans around the world, and they see if they match. Now, uh, wait a minute, a manuscript. So how does that prove the truth? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. If something is propagated, yes, unanimously around the world, yes, and it is. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It is multiple, there is multiple, hold on, hold on. There is multiple individual attestments of that particular information, yeah. then that makes it a truth. Multiple. You know what, it doesn't make it a truth. Okay, I what is write, the truth? I can write a book, right? Yeah. I can write a book, Go on. and I preserve my book that I write. Sure and the know. book or about a fantasy, let's say now, like a reporter. I can draft an a reporter story from my own imagination. Okay, right? and? And make several copies of that a reporter yeah. with every point and every vowels the same. Yes. And preserve it for almost 100 years. Only 100 years? And those people... Not 1400 years? Example. Example. Bad example. So now, or maybe for a thousand years or one billion years. Yeah, so you have to show now, me that evidence. Now... Only the Muslims can show this evidence. Now... 1400 years those, unchanged, okay, Alhamdulillah. If the address, address copy yeah. remain the same, yeah. you understand that I've been with, that I wrote myself, yes. then it's very fine. Does it make it true? Yes. No, no, no. There's a difference between truth. We haven't come to the truth yet. Does right now, truth? listen, listen. Right now, we are only understanding whether it is verified and it goes all the way to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time. This is what, true, my brother. Your, you, you now move the goalpost to truth. My question to you about your Bible is at least to verify whether Jesus said it. I will verify. I will verify. But con concerning how you verify whatever the Sahaba says or whatever has been delivered. That's a different question. To verify whether no, the truth. Can, listen, listen. Verify, Before no you verify whether there's a truth there's or no the, way. Listen, hold on. Before you verify is a truth or falsehood, at least it must be from the time of where it is alleged. So first we first we find out historically, listen. For the historian, he doesn't care whether what is in the document is the truth or not. For a historian, his job is to ascertain whether this document is as old as it's claimed to be. Do you understand? That's, called, that's how it's done by carbon dating. Do you understand? Have you heard of carbon dating? Yes, I, I'm assuming. Okay. So carbon dating verifies what? The truth or the age? What does it verify? It verifies the age. Thank you very much. So but this is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The question I asked you wasn't about the truth. That comes later on. First, you need to at least verify that you have anything from the time of Jesus. Right now, you have zero manuscripts. I showed you at least one. So but then I've got the others. I've got the Tokkabi manuscript, the Sanaa yeah. manuscript. We have the Husseini Mosque manuscript in Egypt. We have many manuscripts. We have 99.9% .9 of the Quran intact in manuscript form. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a that minute. That was dated to Muhammad. Muhammad's time. Yes. Yes. Many of them were. Okay. Many of them. None from the Bible, from, from the time of Jesus or from the time of Moses. Zero manuscripts. So the Quran is at least much better. In fact, our hadiths, our hadiths are better than your Bible.